Hi guys, it's Rindy. Welcome to a update for my A to Z project pan for April. This is a little late. I ended up falling last weekend and getting a concussion, so I didn't ever get around to filming, but I am doing better now. It is Friday, so I will get this done and hopefully only be one video behind. So let's get into my progress for my A to Z products. So for my after bath splash for A, I was up here and I am down to there. So that is that much left. So that should be done in a few more months, I would say. But it's raspberry, so it'll be a good summer smell too. My charcoal mask I haven't touched. My Burt's Bees is down to this mark right here. And obviously this is a little like a week's more usage than what would normally be on here. So that's a little bit more progress, but it is like consistent. Does that make sense? I'm still a little bit, it's, it's not quite all back, but bear with me guys. So my force field polish went nowhere, so that one is still hanging out right at the halfway mark here. If I ever actually get a second coat on these fingernails, I might put this on as a top coat, but that hasn't happened yet either. My Rimmel Precious Gold liner has continued its consistency and moved it down to the green line from the purple. So that is going consistently, and this I usually just put in my water line, so it doesn't go fast, but it's going. So where are we at? My IBY highlighter palette. This one is exciting because this shade that I frankened here, can you see it? See the little bitty bit of like ring pan there? So I've only got these two shades left. This one is sort of on hold because I'm using a different eyebrow product and that's what I used this one for. But if I can get through this one yet um, this year, I will be happy and I'll just depot this and put it with my eyebrow products but hopefully I'll be getting back into that soon. But this one has the slightest little bit of pan and I had franken that so it had like increased and so now I'm excited to see pan on it again. My, what, what letter are we on guys? Oh my goodness, this is, a, this is a good idea. So my DLS Shadow Crayon for eye in this shade Illusion. So what I have marked, so I was at the blue line and now I did the green line so let me explain so when i had it before it was at an angle and now i have like started creating an angle the other direction this so it has like this pointy thing so i gave it like an angled progress because there's progress that just goes to the same line in the center because that's apparently how i used it this month my NYX Jet Set Liner has gone nowhere. My Mary Kay Shadow Quad is looking like this. I have rehit pan in my gold, and my peachy one is almost gone. My green I haven't haven't done much with, and obviously this one is in a different project, so I will cover it, and you'll have to stay tuned to see how my blue is looking in the other in another update. My LA Colors Lilac Illusion, this is another one where I gave it an angle because I've used it and it was flat and now it's got this angle. And so I, I gave it a little angle because there is progress, but it's not enough progress to like show a change as far as how tall it actually is if you go to the tip of the product. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So my Melted Chihuahua, I have been using that one. I left it upstairs. I'm not walking up the stairs again to go get it, but it is still going strong. It is what it is. That one is the product that's never going to end. So my Outlapse Foundation, because I've been, we've been sick in April, we've been all the things in April, so I've only had this little bitty bit of progress, but hopefully I will get through the rest of that before summer hits and I'm too sweaty to want to even wear foundation or think about wearing foundation. My CQ lipstick, again, there's your angle. You can see I went from it being flat and then now it is slightly angled. So I gave myself a little angle, you know, cut me some slack guys. I haven't worn makeup much this week. 
So my protein nail supplement has moved with its consistency because I do use it every time I do my nails. So it has moved from purple down here to black. And I'm thinking that has another month or maybe a little bit more than one more month left. And that one will be gone. My vintage eyeliner, and I'll, I'll give you my jet set right away too because I skipped that one. So my jet set, I have maybe one use on. I drew a green line right under the purple because that's where it lined up. And here's my vintage it has gone down just this small amount right here, the green from the purple because, like I said, I haven't worn makeup much this month. So my, I still have a Wander Baggage Claim eye mask left. My temp to is at that black line right there. And I believe this little dot is where it was last time and the purple is where it was the time before that. So it hasn't gone far, but it's gone a little bit. And then the final thing is my enzyme mask. And this one I finally opened, guys. So this one has been used now. I do save it and use it more than once until the product's gone. So that one I will continue to work on, hopefully. Um, we all know that I don't remember these much, do it, right? So anyhow, so that is my A to Z project pan update. I hope you will stick around and check out my project, my, check out my progress. See, this is still, I, I need to slow down. I hope you'll stick around and check out my progress and check out the project, the progress, it's time for bed, of the other fantastic ladies in this collab. And until the next time, hopefully I'll have it more together. I will talk to you all later.